guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog so uh today we're working on the zr2 a little bit i did finally invest in something pretty cool and we're going to get uh everything together to mount this thing today onto the roof rack this is an arb awning and this is one of the smallest awnings that you can buy from them it's only four foot by eight foot so it's actually a little bit bigger than four feet but so the idea behind this thing though, we're gonna mount it to the roof rack and we're gonna use it to basically as like a little mini shelter and you can actually buy all kinds of neat little um, mosquito nets and uh, sort of like an annex room, things like that with it. So it's, it's pretty cool. But you know, if we wanna go a little further than where we've been going, we definitely need something, you know, a little bit more shelter. So as far as how this thing mounts, um, you know, it's got these sliders and it has some attachment hardware with it which I've got over here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to mount one of these onto a roof rack. So this is basically what you get. It locks into place and then we're gonna tighten it with some bolts. Now I did go to a hardware store here local and picked up some uh, brackets. So we're gonna take some raw steel, we're gonna cut it, drill some holes in it, and I'm gonna to try to mount this onto my rack. Now the thing to remember about my roof rack that's probably gonna be different than everybody else watching this video is my mounts are inverted because I lowered my rack. So my rack sits like this high off of the roof of my truck. So it is it is gonna make a big difference in it. However, right now we've got the shop kind of tied up with all kinds of projects. So we, what we're gonna do is mount this thing to this bar and it's gonna sit above these mounts. Now you can see I inverted my rack so it sits lower. Now that's, that's fine and dandy, but it makes it really hard to mount a roof, you know, any kind of an awning. So I'm actually gonna to have to kind of relocate it to this top section and go from there. All right guys, so we're making some progress on this. So we've come up with an idea. We're gonna use an L bracket to attach this to the rack and then actually a universal joint that goes on the rear, uh, of course a U-joint, is a strap kit. We're gonna use one of those as well. So what I've done here, I got a drill press over there, drilled some holes through this thing. So essentially what we've done, this is gonna go through here once it's on, and then these two bolts right here is what the ARB awning uses as a slide. So this is just a universal bracket basically that we found in the shop. You can get these at any hardware store, or you can make them, because I actually bought steel and was going to make one, and then found this laying around, and I was like, well, no point in trying to make one if we have one. So, we're going to go ahead and do the other one, and we'll show you guys how that's, uh, how that's done, and then we'll bolt this on, and hopefully we'll have an awning on there today. So, uh, let's start on the second side. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you this before we actually mount the awning, but here's the strap kit, universal joint strap kit with this bracket on both sides mounted. So we should be able to take our awning, bolt it straight to this, and we'll be good to go. And then... All right guys, it's the next day. Of course, you know, yesterday was really windy, so I wanted to take the chance today and show you guys this new ARB awning and how easy it is to set up and unfold. So let's go ahead and kick it off here. We got us a nice flat spot so we're gonna grab some lunch but also try out this awning and uh, you know see how easy it is to set it up first thing you got to do setting up an awning of course unzip it and this one's pretty easy once you get it unzipped you'll see that the ARBs most all the other ones are probably made the same way you got these straps here much like a rooftop tent very similar and once you get that unfolded it'll drop down and it basically unravels. All right guys, so this is completely unfolded. This is the ARB Touring. Of course, this particular awning that I've purchased for the truck is only four foot wide and eight foot long. So for a ZR2, you can't really go crazy with awnings. And really this is all we needed. Basically what the goal of this awning was to do is to provide shelter so when you're getting in here to get camp gear out, clothes, whatever you're looking for, it's just really simple and it works quite well. Now, the reason I had to put the camera down, this is my first time setting it up. So what I had, um, I had to have some help holding this in place while I got the uh, attachment arms out of this holder so as you can kind of see how this works these arms fold in 
and then when you extend these arms basically they're really easy to tighten it attaches right here and then you spin this holder one one way one the other the opposites of each other and it will tighten it so this is what holds this steady so that way you can uh, engage this little pin so once you get your pin locked in you tighten this down you put your straps on and you're ready to go so it's actually pretty easy there's not really a whole lot of wind but it is a little breezy today and i will say that anything past this good little breeze probably should have the peg ropes in but overall guys this thing is extremely rigid i'm just really impressed with it so pricing on this i did do like a black friday deal on this thing and uh, that's really the way to go with these um, you can get these for around $180 under the $200 mark. So it's really an affordable awning and it's not gonna break the bank. So one reason I really like it though is it's pretty easy to set up. Now I will practice with this a little bit more and I probably can develop a way to set it up on my own, but just for the sake of time, I had her hold it just to make sure that I could engage the pegs. This is only the second time I've ever set it up. So the first time I did was yesterday in the wind and it basically just unfolded it to make sure that there was no defects with it and it does work. But this is legitimately the first time I've unfolded this and engaged everything to actually see how rigid it is. So there you go guys. You can see here this thing is uh, pretty awesome for a small truck or a blazer or whatever you guys got. We will unfold the tent here in a minute, probably. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any interference with the tent when it opens, because I may have to move this, but we'll see. All right, guys, so we got the full setup up and going. Everything looks really good. Um, it worked out pretty nicely, actually. I was able to uh, tie off my back window, and uh, I never could open it before, but we can now because we've got this new awning, and that gives me somewhere to uh, attach the other window to, so pretty cool. I did just kind of want to show you guys a full setup. Everything opened up all the way with the awning attached now. You know, it makes a pretty good little campsite. Pretty happy with this overall, the setup, everything come together really well on this truck. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you're wondering about the tent, uh, be sure and check out all my other videos. I have a full review of this Mediville Overlander tent. Um, you guys can check that out and it'll explain all the details of the tent and everywhere we've been with it. So as far as the awning, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave some of you all uh, an idea of just what you can do with a smaller awning on one of these little trucks. Now keep in mind, if you're using one of these awnings, make sure you have some roof rack to attach this to. I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet, but here's how this is attached. You can see those L brackets there. And those universal uh, you know u joint straps as of course this rack has been lowered as you guys can see if you leave these racks standard hot on these trucks they sit way up here and it's just it's kind of crazy because you you limit yourself as far as getting in garages parking lots things like that so i did lower this rack and it worked perfect for that uh, awning ended up being just fine for what we're using it for of course you know the smitty built tent has plenty of room in it it is a two-man tent and we've taken on several little trips. It's served us really well. I just figured I would open this whole thing up and give you guys, you know, a first look at this setup completely done. I don't know what all I'm gonna add from here, but I do know that this is probably not the end for this thing. Um, I'm kind of limited by the two door factor now. So we're starting to get into problems where if I wanted to take other people with us, or if I had a family later, it's gonna to start to limit us because we can only have legitimately like two people and all their clothes and belongings for a weekend. So I don't know. Um, I may actually entertain the idea of a four door like a ZR5. Um, I don't know if I wanna stay with the S10 brand as far as if I wanna go and uh, get something with more room in it. I may have to, I may have to look at going at the ZR2 Colorado. Um, you guys have heard me hint that a lot lately and uh, really been giving that some thought so I don't think it's gonna happen this year I'll tell you that guys I don't think I'm gonna get a ZR2 as far as this coming up year and you know we're trying to finish up some other builds so that you know me getting a ZR2 Colorado I'm not sure if it's gonna happen um, of course the good thing is to keep in mind 
all of this stuff will pretty much bolt right on a Colorado. So this rack and everything, if you guys are wondering about this rack as far as where you get this stuff and how it attaches, I mean, this is Hot Metal Fabrications Universal Slim Low Profile Bed Rack. And uh, you can pick these things up for around $400. I think I got mine on a little bit of a deal. It was like $350 or $370. There was kind of a little special going on. So I grabbed one of those and threw it on a truck. You know, we can put that on the Colorado. We can use the tent. We can use the awning. So there is a lot of, like, important things on this truck that I can take and put on another truck. But, you know, it's just the fact of uh, being different and doing this with a ZR2. So there was one other thing that I haven't shown you guys yet that I wanted to go ahead and invest in. And that's some recovery gear. I previously had no recovery gear. So I went out and found this uh, Smitty built. Um, just a tow tow piece here comes with everything you need and I've got a strap as well so if I get into any kind of trouble now I can either pull somebody out or be pulled out if I need to hopefully we're not on the uh, other side of things being pulled out if this is your first time watching this video if you want more in-depth stuff about this build be sure and check out all the other videos that I've posted I have uh, all documents of everything that we've done as far as how to install it, where to get it, and pricing, all that good stuff. So be sure and check out all these other videos that I've got. Uh, you know, hit the channel and subscribe. We've got tons of stuff coming up. I've got a bunch of other builds going on at the same time right now. And we're in the middle of moving too, so that's another huge thing. But uh, if you guys like what you see, be sure and smash that subscribe button. Give us a big like. Share this